The effects of epinephrine and norepinephrine on pacemaker cells of the heart, or otherwise known as the fight or flight response. First, let's take a look at the main and more obvious action for where this is occurring the heart, or specifically the sinoatrial node. The sinoatrial node is located in the right atrium of the heart and is where the pacemaker cells are. These cells are responsible for sending electrical signals to the atrioventricular node located in the lower portion of the right atrium. From a graphics perspective, we can see the difference between normal heart rate and the fight or flight heart rate. In the normal heart rate, sodium is rushing in during depolarization and potassium is rushing out during repolarization. Or flight response, the same thing is occurring, but at a faster plate, pace. Hyperpolarization occurs faster, which makes it shorter and causes a faster lead into depolarization. This in turn results in a faster heart rate. Now let's zoom into the cellular level. It is at this level that we can see how epinephrine and norepinephrine play a role in this response. Epinephrine and norepinephrine are released by the adrenal medulla. Since they are water soluble, they need to be bound by a metabotropic receptor. In this case, you can find them in the beta-1 adrenergic receptor proteins. The bonding of the norepinephrine or epinephrine activates the heterotrimactic G protein. Tri meaning three, the G protein has three subunits called alpha, beta, and gamma. One of these subunits is carrying guanosine triphosphate, or GDP. When the G protein is activated by the beta-1 receptor, the subunit breaks off and GDP is replaced by GTP. Triphosphate. The G protein meets the enzyme adenyl cyclase. This enzyme causes the formation of cyclic adenosine monophosphate (CAMP) and is aided by ATP. This allows calcium to flow into the cells. It turns pro. protein kinase A, which causes the phosphorylation of a cell. Phosphorylation is the addition of a phosphate group to a protein, resulting in faster muscle contractions. From this whole process, we can pan out and see how this all plays into the flight or flight response.